Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm Baxter Bell, and two quick things before we jump into our practice today. First, if you're watching this on YouTube and you find the video valuable, please like it. Secondly, if you want to learn more about my yoga teaching, whether that's yoga classes online or in person, uh, yoga privates or yoga therapy privates, or upcoming workshops and retreats, there's one easy place to find all that information. That's my website, baxterbell.com. So without further ado, let's jump right into our practice. All right, so today is a do-it-yourself day. We're gonna make a new prop, and I'll give you some ideas on how you can use that. So this is one of my favorites. It involves one sock, so if you've got a lonely sock <laughs> that doesn't have a partner anymore, grab that. But usually an athletic sock works pretty nicely because you've got a little extra up here, and that'll be important in a moment. And then you wanna have two balls. So I've got a couple of used tennis balls, and you can get a can of tennis balls, three balls for $2, usually at the store. Um, so fairly inexpensive to grab some balls. And then you're going to take those balls and you're going to stick them inside the sock and you have to work them down all the way to the toe area. So I've got that first one in there. And then we're going to place the second one in there also. And again, just work it down. Sometimes doing a little wiggling and wriggling gets them down there. And I want to have them fairly snug together. Uh, because we want to keep them in their close proximity because they're going to be really great for accessing in particular some of the muscles along the back of the spine from the skull all the way down to your tailbone area. So once you've got that set, then you want to take the tail and you want to uh, tie a nice knot in it. And I get it threaded and I don't tie it in it all the way because I want to make sure to pull down on that knot so that it snugs right up against the balls and keeps them in place so they don't kind of separate apart. You want them nice and tight in place. Now, if you've got other sorts of balls, maybe that are slightly firmer or slightly softer, you can experiment and find the uh, consistency or firmness that feels best for you when you put them into practice. So this is our little makeshift uh, prop, uh, two, two balls in a sock. Um, I have bags of these that I've made for my classes. Here's one that I've had for a long time. Um, and what you can do with that is, uh, as I mentioned, uh, place it between uh, your body and the floor or a wall uh, and then allow body pressure or uh, muscular pressure to help you sink in a little bit more to create some myofascial release in some of your tissues. So today I just wanted to take a moment to show you how to make it and in future videos I will show you how to use it. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and YouTube at Baxter Bell Yoga. Please like the video if you're watching on YouTube. Um, and check out all my upcoming retreats and workshops. Got some cool stuff happening now that we're meeting in person again on my website. All right, thanks everybody. Namaste.